Hey you guys, it is 5.08 on Saturday morning. I am at Macca's car park in Palmy, waiting for Dave from Vanatura Outdoors. We're going to um, head into a spot that he knows of and uh, get after some deer. Hopefully um, he doesn't mind me uh, taking some extra time to film when we're up in um, in the hills. But he reckons last time he was in the spot um, he saw uh, quite a few deer. So hopefully uh, we'll uh, come across something. I'm just just at Macca's having a coffee and um, a uh, McMuffin um, and then uh, we'll be into it once he gets here. Yeah. Well we're off to the hut, uh, oh no it's not a hut anymore, um, it's been removed but we're going to go um, hunt along the tops, uh, we're out in the Ruahinis, and uh, yeah, we'll see how we get on. I've been promised deer. We've um, dropped down off the tops now. It's um, a pretty steep track. Um, if we shoot a deer, it's gonna be a really long haul out of here. But um, we're starting to get into the um, more open bush now. So um, we're hoping that as we get closer down to the river that um, there's a bit more sign, just being uh, Deer hanging around down in the cool shade because it's pretty hot up here. Not a lot of sign, but um, yeah, and see how we get on. Come across somebody's little uh, bivy. Is this similar to what you've built? Uh, well, I think I'll got to chuck a roof on mine, but yeah, pretty similar. We'll just lash together with. Yeah, and they got stuff. Got everything in there. Pump for there. Looks like an air mattress. Yeah. We've got the um, jet boiler going. Um, we haven't gone all the way down to the river. We found a spot that um, it's got a really good face to show, which I'll show you now. There's all those faces there. There's game trails all along it, and then down through there, this face is, so we're just going to um, find a spot here on this knob to camp. James just uh, soaking up the sun, waiting for the day to pass, we can uh, go for a walk down the river. It's got the old faithful out here. Got the dog and, dog and gun coffee underway. So here with Dave. Dave Perry from Vanitor Outdoors. You can see I'm wearing his t-shirt, uh, cool uh, logo there. And we've uh, teed up, we've been talking for a while and we've teed up to go for a hunt up in the Ruahinis and just thought I'd uh, get him to give a bit of a spiel about sort of what he's doing and the rifle he uses and stuff like that, just so you guys know if you're interested. But So um, Dave, do you want to just sort of say uh, what you're doing with um, Vanitor? Yeah man, uh, so Vanitor is pretty much, well, it, it came initially from a, a bout that I had with depression. So, and the two tools I used to get through it was obviously um, fitness and hunting. In terms of hunting as well, I, I have a massive love of history, hence the logo. Yeah. Uh, so you got a bit of a Roman uh, Roman logo there. Uh, so a bit different in, in New Zealand, but um, yeah, the other thing in history sense as well is the rifle that I use and probably the maybe the clothing I use as well it's a lot more uh, I don't know you say historic starting with the rifle I suppose the old uh, this is the number four mark one Lee Enfield 303 so it was built in the 1940s um, it's got a, a size a size effective range that's 13 <laughs> 1300 yards but I think you'd, you'd definitely be pushing it with the sight so um, I'd, I'd, I'd happily, well, I'd say semi-confident to shoot a 300. Well, obviously, weather dependent. No, yeah, well, it's a, it's a, I suppose it's in its early days and it's always a pleasure to, it's pretty cool to see what Calvin's doing too with with, um, and with Empire and and, um, and obviously with these vlogs. So I'm excited to see for him and what he can do in the future and hopefully, uh, we've only just got here, so knock a deer over soon, yeah. hopefully. But uh, yeah, stay tuned for in the future. We um, will definitely be um, looking uh, at Dave's gear. So um, yeah, see how that works out. Yeah. Meh. 
We had been walking up the creek for a little while and we could smell a deer really close. Uh, so Dave decided to let out a bit of a fawn call, hoping that we'd draw something out of the bush. But uh, had no response and then upon further inspection we actually found a deer that was um, dead not far from where we were and that's what we could smell. So uh, no luck this time. Uh, we just walked up a hell of a steep hill. We went for a walk down the uh, river like we said we were going to and um, we saw a couple of dead deer. <laughs> what else did we see, Dave? Uh, a bit of swine and a lot of sweat. <laughs> yeah, we saw what um, seemed to be a quite, um, quite a big stag. Uh, well, the marks of a big stag down the other end, um, but uh, didn't see him. It's still pretty early, so now we're just going to sit up here in our original spot and uh, watch the slips until dark. And... So just on dark, I managed to spot a hind and a yearling uh, just over 400 metres away. And we were able to watch for a while and decided to take a shot at the hind. Sound like a hit to me. Sound like a hit. Watch, just watch, just watch, just watch. Can you see it? Well, we uh, sent a round over to um, meet that hind up on the hill, and uh, we reviewed the footage. So it was thank uh, pretty thankful we had the big lens on the camera. But um, judging from the the footage, uh, it was a solid hit just behind the shoulder. So it's a real big climb back up to uh, there. We got to go. going to eat it tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> we just came down <laughs> up the massive hill, <laughs> so we're gonna go back down it in the morning and um, then head up an even bigger hill. So go get this hind and then uh, get the meat off it, get some photos, and then we'll have to just head up. It's only five and a half k back to the car, but it's um, <laughs> it's, it's uphill the entire way. So, but good to get a uh, good to get around into a deer. So yeah. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Dave's blowing up his mattress, but I'm just, uh, you know, survivaling mine out of the bushes because um, I was too lazy to uh, carry one. <laughs> so this is going to be the little posse in here tonight. Let's put my booby bag in there. Put the old mattress down. Put down some, um, I think those are cabbage tree leaves. Put it down as my um, mattress tonight. I've finished making uh, my accommodation for the evening. That's uh, just an old bivy bag I got from an army surplus store in uh, Bulls. Put my uh, mattress underneath and uh, yeah, it should be pretty good because um, Dave was jack and took the best spot. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's morning now. It is quarter past seven. Um, got up a little bit earlier when it was still a little bit dark and I saw another hind up on that face where I shot the other one last night but um, obviously we didn't need to so we just wandered around and fed into the bush but now we're going to head back down the massive hill and head back up another even more massive hill to go get this deer then we'll head down the massive hill and then back up an even bigger hill back to the car so yeah not bad sleep slid down the hill a little bit Dave's ready to go you can't tell in the camera because, you know, $1,200 camera still can't tell you uh, how steep it is. That's cool. Um, but that's where we're going up, essentially. But to that side. Doesn't look as steep from the top. <laughs> yeah, made it to the top, Dave. Yeah, mate. It's tough. It's pretty steep, and pretty just over there is our, uh, is our deer. There's two dudes up where we were last night watching us. Just the tip line. Yeah, no, definitely give me tips. Got the back straps. When you, you go, go right there. That oh, shoulder blade too. So you can get you can you blade. can get under there? Yeah. See that? Yeah. Oh that's not a fucking bad idea. Yeah, it's we're just talking about um how everybody's got a uh, a different way of doing things and you can learn from heaps of hunters. Um, Don't be ignorant. Yeah, here you go. Don't, Don't be, be ignorant. ignorant. Like just yesterday, Dave was um, Dave was teaching me some stuff about tracking from his time um, in recon platoon, and um, 
that's stuff I didn't know before. So you've got to keep yourself open to learn more so that you can get better. Then when you're a real old ass dude, you can write a book about it. <laughs> We're all, all the meat's cut off now and uh, we've got to head back up the hill. Down it and then yeah. up it. Down the hill, then up the hill. Over there, yeah. Dave went full native and uh, head dunked for the gram though. Back down the hill, fill up the water bottles. We'll go back up to where we camped last night, have some brekkie, have a coffee, courtesy of Dog and Gun, thanks Sean. And uh, yeah, then we'll head out to the truck. Um, successful mission. We just made it out. It was a big walk out. It seemed to drag on and on as it often does on your way out. But yeah, thanks, Dave, for uh, no, no, the drama, man. Yeah, yeah, no, sweet. Anytime, uh, good, good little public land mission. So. Yeah. So um, if you like the video, obviously subscribe to the channel, like it. The links to our social medias are in the bio uh, description, and um, there'll be cards popping up on the screen with the old videos. So thanks for watching. <laughs>